I would like to know my career opportunities after I complete the course. Will I be able to get the marginal salary to get to the PR uh, in future? I have my own licensed pharmacy here and I'm working in it for the past five years. So working in my own firm and showing it as a work experience would have any drawbacks in future to obtain job or PR in New Zealand. Please help. I'm choosing to go for a master's in allied health, which is good. Wellness and rehabilitation. It has not directly related to what you've done as a pharmacist before. Uh, you know, you've done a bachelor's in pharmacist. So my question is, would you want to consider doing something more related to pharmacy or is this the best option that was available? Because, you know, doing a course in pharmacy would, of course, have other issues like registration and so on and so forth. So I'm, I believe my team would have looked into all those things and which is when made this particular suggestion, unless and until it was your choice to do this particular course from the Southern Institute of Technology. Uh, either ways, I think it is a definite link to what you have as a background as somebody from the field of health, which is, you know, pharmacy and stuff like that. So your career opportunities uh, in rehabilitation and wellness, I think there is a pretty big growing demand for people in the health industry in New Zealand uh, at the moment because a lot of our and because you're doing wellness and rehabilitation, we have a, a large aging population in New Zealand who require a lot of care and attention. And so a lot of wellness and rehabilitation is also uh, required for the aging population of New Zealand because, you know, these are the people getting older. So they are more prone to injuries and stuff like that. They also need to be looked up. So I think overall the, the, the scenario looks quite positive for you with the course choice you've made uh, as regards will i uh, require will i get the re required salary to get up to a resident visa like i said the salary required is fifty thousand five hundred and twenty three dollars and which i think approximately approximately you know equates to about 25 dollars per hour most people would start at the basic uh, uh you know uh living wage uh the uh, minimum wage in New Zealand and then work their way up from there but so I think and because you're doing a three years master's course you will be uh, sorry a uh, one year master's course you will be eligible for a three years post study work visa which is a good enough time for you to be able to find a relevant job and move on now whether you will get the required salary or not is very difficult for me to predict right now at this stage it will depend on how well you are able to do in an interview and get yourself into that job in the first place. And after you get that job, how well you can work your way uh, up the ladder is what I would think. But because you're a very experienced person, I can see that you can make an entry into the wellness and rehabilitation industry uh, and scenario here in New Zealand and gradually work your way up. I think that possibility is always there. As regards the fact that you already work in your own pharmacy, for five years is it possible to show that experience i think it is possible if there are good documents to support it where you're paying taxes so are there tax returns uh, did you pay yourself a salary uh, through on a monthly basis was the salary through cash or were you paying it into a bank account are there transaction details so all those things are possible so if you are able to establish the fact that you were self-employed but you were also uh, you know, maintaining a good track record, then absolutely that work experience can be considered. Okay, so good questions. And like I said, whether you get the required salary or not will depend on how well you crack the interview. You have three whole years to grow up the ladder and reach that point where you will actually get that $50,523, which is the uh, salary at which you can make a resident visa application. But I think with the amount of uh, experience you have, and I'm guessing your English also is very good in the way you asked a question. I'm sure you'll be able to work your way up. And the other important thing you guys will all have to understand is that, uh, you know, coming to New Zealand and trying to create a future here is not something that's going to come and fall into your lap, guys. I mean, it's not something that somebody will offer on a platter to you and say, oh, wow, look, you finished your course. So I'm going to give you a, a job now and you can go and make. So it's kind of a, a bit of a struggle. And, you know, that's what I keep telling in all my videos as well saying you know come prepared for a bit of a hard grind it's not going to be something that will fall into your lap but come come knowing it's going to be a struggle come knowing that you'll have to work your way up step up step but if you're patient and if you're persistent definitely definitely you can work your way up uh, Rafia. so that's my sincere advice to you and do not worry after you land here we are there to talk to 
to guide you, to help you, to counsel you, to connect you to other people in the industry and also to our own AGV networks. We're always there to talk care of you. So don't worry about it. Move forward with confidence and uh, I, I, I believe uh, you'll be able to get to the destination you're seeking. All right. Okay.